Let's learn the construction of a police car and assemble it. First, let's install a frame. This is the basic part of a car. The frame carries all the other parts. An undercarriage consists of wheels, suspension, and brakes. Let's install them. Within the wheels, the car moves. The suspension keeps the car from shaking, and the brakes are needed to stop the car. Let's install an engine and a battery. The engine makes the wheels turn so the car can move, and the battery helps start the engine and provides power for headlights, controls, and other systems. Now let's install a fuel tank. The fuel tank contains gasoline or other fuel. Let's install an interior of the car. This is the main interior space of the car to accommodate passengers and a driver. It's a separation barrier. Let's install it. This barrier is needed to separate police officers from the arrested people transported in the back seat. These are the controls from the vehicle. They include a steering wheel, a gearbox, and a dashboard. Let's install them. All these things are necessary for a driver to control the car. And now we need to install a body. Body is the exterior part of the car, which is attached to the frame. It's time to install headlights and rear lights. The lights illuminate a road in the dark. There are also special lights that show the turn direction of the car. When the lights are turned on, other drivers can see the car in the dark. It's a flasher, but its correct name is emergency lighting. Let's install it. Emergency lighting attracts attention and shows other drivers that they must give the way to such a car. Amazing! All. Let's learn the construction of a crane and assemble it. First, let's install a frame. This is the basic part of a car. The frame carries all the other parts. An undercarriage consists of wheels, suspension, and brakes. Let's install them. Within the wheels, the car moves. The suspension keeps the car from shaking, and the brakes are needed to stop the car. Let's install an engine and a battery. The engine makes the wheels turn so the car can move, and the battery helps start the engine and provides power for headlights, controls, and other systems. Now let's install a fuel tank. The fuel tank contains gasoline or other fuel. Let's install an interior of the car. This is the main interior space of the car to accommodate passengers and a driver. These are the controls from the vehicle. They include a steering wheel, a gearbox, and a dashboard. Let's install them. All these things are necessary for a driver to control the car. And now we need to install a body. Body is the exterior part of the car, which is attached to the frame. Install the headlights. The lights illuminate a road in the dark. There are also special lights that show the turn direction of the car. When the lights are turned on, other drivers can see the car in the dark. Now let's install the crane's boom. The boom needs to lift and move loads. 
Let's install the crane's cabin. From this cabin, a crane operator controls a boom. And now we need to install the crane's outriggers. The outriggers are needed to increase the stability of the crane when it moves loads. It's time to install a counterweight. The counterweight is needed to prevent the crane from falling forward when it lifts the load. Ready! Let's learn the construction of a road roller and assemble it. Now let's install the rear axle. The rear axle of the road roller is a drive axle. This means that the engine is spinning the rear wheels to drive the roller forward. And now we need to install the rear half frame of the road roller. The rear half frame is the base of the roller. All other parts are installed on it. At first, let's install the front frame. The front frame is used to change the direction of the road roller. The drum is also attached to it. And now let's install the drum. The drum compacts asphalt or soil with its own weight. Let's install an engine and a battery. The engine makes the wheels turn so the car can move. And the battery helps start the engine and provides power for headlights, controls, and other systems. Now let's install a fuel tank. The fuel tank contains gasoline or other fuel. These are the controls from the vehicle. They include a steering wheel, a gearbox, and a dashboard. Let's install them. All these things are necessary for a driver to control the car. Now let's install a cabin. The cabin is a separate part of a car. The car's driver sits in the cabin. Install headlights and emergency lighting. The emergency lighting attracts attention. And the headlights are needed for the driver to see the road in the dark. Amazing!
You're doing really great. Let's learn the construction of an ambulance and assemble it. First, let's install a frame. This is the basic part of a car. The frame carries all the other parts. Now let's install wheels. A car needs rolling wheels to move on the road. And now we need to install brakes. Brakes are needed to slow a car down or stop it. Now let's install suspension. Suspension keeps the car from shaking. Let's install an engine and a battery. The engine makes the wheels turn so the car can move, and the battery helps start the engine and provides power for headlights, controls, and other systems. Now let's install a fuel tank. The fuel tank contains gasoline or other fuel. Let's install an interior of the car. This is the main interior space of the car to accommodate passengers and a driver. These are the controls from the vehicle. They include a steering wheel, a gearbox, and a dashboard. Let's install them. All these things are necessary for a driver to control the car. Now let's install some special equipment. The special ambulance equipment consists of an electrocardiography system, defibrillator, ventilator, and other medical devices. This is a first aid kit. Let's put it in its place. The first aid kit contains all the necessary medicines, tools, and instruments for first aid. Let's put a stretcher. The ambulance stretcher is designed to carry patients. And now we need to install a body. Body is the exterior part of the car, which is attached to the frame. Install the headlights. The lights illuminate a road in the dark. There are also special lights that show the turn direction of the car. When the lights are turned on, other drivers can see the car in the dark. It's a flasher, but its correct name is emergency lighting. Let's install it. Emergency lighting attracts attention and shows other drivers that they must give the way to such a car. Amazing! Keep up the good work. Let's learn the construction of a fire truck and assemble it. First, let's install a frame. This is the basic part of a car. The frame carries all the other parts. An undercarriage consists of wheels, suspension, and brakes. Let's install them. Within the wheels, the car moves. The suspension keeps the car from shaking, and the brakes are needed to stop the car. This is an engine. Install it. The engine turns the wheels so that the car can move. Now install the battery. The battery helps you start the car and also provides power for the lights, controls, and other systems. Now let's install a fuel tank. The fuel tank contains gasoline or other fuel. These are the controls from the vehicle. They include a steering wheel, a gearbox, and a dashboard. Let's install them. All these things are necessary for a driver to control the car. Let's install an interior of the car. Firefighters are placed in the interior. Now let's install a cabin.
The cabin is a separate part of a car. The car's driver sits in the cabin. Install the headlights. The lights illuminate a road in the dark. There are also special lights that show the turn direction of the car. When the lights are turned on, other drivers can see the car in the dark. It's a flasher, but its correct name is emergency lighting. Let's install it. Emergency lighting attracts attention and shows other drivers that they must give the way to such a car. And now we need to install a fire pump. The fire pump transports water from the cistern to the fire truck's water cannon. It's a cistern. Let's install it in its place. The cistern is used to transport water on the fire truck. And now we need to install a body. Body is the exterior part of the car, which is attached to the frame. Let's install firefighting equipment. The firefighting equipment is a special set of tools for fires extinguishing. This is a water jet. Install it. This is a device that directs a jet of water onto the fire. We did it! That's all.